In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem, understanding the definition of heat and work. Now, in this problem, we're given this scenario over here that I want to zoom in on and make sure you understand what's going on. In this scenario, we have a cylinder that contains a gas. The cylinder has a movable piston for a lid. So that means if the gas expands the lid, the piston can move out. And also if the gas is compressed, the piston can move in. So we can monitor the expansion uh, or contraction of the gas by paying attention to the piston moving out or moving in. Also, the cylinder is submerged in a water bath, and this is how we're going to monitor the heat of uh, exchanged in this reaction. If the reaction is giving off heat, the temperature of the water bath will increase, so we'll know that heat is being evolved. And if this reaction is absorbing heat, the temperature of the water bath will decrease, so we'll know that heat is being absorbed. Let's take a look at the information that's provided to us in the problem. So first it says, from previous experiments, this chemical reaction is known to absorb 367 kilojoules of energy. So that is referring to the delta U for this particular reaction. We do need to know more than just 367. We need to know if this is a positive or a negative 367. Positive delta U means that energy is absorbed. The amount of energy is increasing for this particular system. If energy was being released, we would have a negative delta U. So since this reaction is telling us that energy is being absorbed, we know that our value of delta U is positive 367 kilojoules. Um, also, it tells us the temperature of the water bath is monitored, and it's determined that 157 kilojoules of heat flow out of the system. So the heat is our Q, and we need to know, again, we need to know more than 152. We need to know, is it a positive or a negative 152? If we have a negative Q, this is associated with heat that is being lost, or heat, in this case, the words they are using, heat is flowing out of the system. This would also cause the water temperature to increase. If we had heat flowing in to the system, that would be a positive Q. So we'll make a note of that. And this would cause the temperature of the water bath to decrease. So also let's write up here our value of Q because we have heat flowing out of the system. Heat flowing out of the system means that our Q is negative negative 157 kilojoules. Now let's see what we can do with the questions that were being asked. Is this reaction exothermic or endothermic? That comes from the sign of Q. If the sign of Q is negative and heat is flowing out, that is exothermic. And if the sign of Q is positive, heat is coming in, that is endothermic. Since we have a negative Q, our reaction is exothermic. Does the temperature of the water bath go up or down? Since we have a negative Q, the temperature of our water bath is going to increase, so our temperature will be going up. Does the piston move in or out? So this has to do with the work of the system. The movement of the piston has to do with whether the gases are being compressed or whether the gases are being expanded. If we have a negative value of work, this means that the gases are compressed. This means that Oh, no, I said that backwards. If we have a negative value of Q, this means that our gases are expanding. The system is losing energy by expanding the gases. And this would mean that in this situation, the piston would go out to make room for the gases expanding. If we have a positive value of W, this means that the gas is being compressed and the piston would be moving in. Now, we don't have any information in the problem about the sign of, Q, of W or whether the piston is moving in or out, but we can solve for the sign of the value of W by using the equation, I'm gonna stick it up here, delta U equals Q plus W. Because we know our delta U and we know our Q, we can solve for W. So we'll fill in what we already know. We know that delta U is 367 kilojoules. We know that Q is negative 157 kilojoules. And 
we can easily solve for our work. Our work is going to be a positive 519 kilojoules. Since our work is positive, this means that the gas is being compressed and the piston is moving in. And again, that comes completely from the sign of W. Does the gas mixture do work or is work being done on it? If, Q, if W is positive and the piston is moving in, this means that work is done on the system. If W is negative, work is being done by the system. How much work is being done? Well, we already calculated that up here. The way that this problem is worded, it wants an absolute value. Ours is positive in this situation, but if it was negative, it just wants the absolute value.